Children are such a blessing, and so often we let the burdens of this world weigh us down and distract us from being able to focus all of our attention on our kids. How many of you guys have burdens in your life? Every single hand should be up, whether you want to raise it or not. We all have burdens in our life. These burdens look like different things. One of the burdens a lot of us have can be our job. And I asked my assistant to get me a briefcase, and she found one from the stinking prohibition error. <laughs> but anyways, we get weighted down. Seriously, she was telling me last night she was getting out of her attic and the handle broke off. It was rusted straight through. We have burdens placed on us. <laughs> and one of the burdens that so many of us have that we struggle with is our job. It's our career. And we let the stress and the frustration of our job and our career weigh us down. How many of you have the burden of money? You're always seeking more and more of it. There's no amount that you can get that is ever satisfying enough to you. And that becomes a burden. That becomes something in our life that controls us. And that becomes something in our life that can overshadow the blessing of our children. How many of you guys have a house? Houses are great blessings from God. They're awesome. But so, look, my money fell off. As you start to have more and more burdens, you can't hang on to all of them, guys. I'm telling you. This is real life stuff. A house. You guys have homes. They're great, but they're burdens. They're a lot of work. They're a lot of money. They take a lot of time and focus. How many of you as parents would say that you came in to parenting not having any baggage? We all had baggage when we became parents, right? And so often that baggage just hangs on us and we never let go of it. And it weights us down over and over and over again. How many of you guys have a car? <laughs> cars are awesome. I love cars. They're great modes of transportation. But so many times, these cars can weight us down, man. They're expensive, right? The maintenance on them, it's ridiculous. Folks, just looking at me, do I look like somebody who is in any position right now to appreciate and enjoy the blessing of my children. I'm not. When we allow the things of this world to weight us down and bog us down, we are in no position at all to influence and lead and impact the life of the biggest blessing that God has ever given us, and that's the children and students that he's put in our sphere of influence. But here's the really cool thing. We have a passage in 1 Peter 5, verse 7, that says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. No matter how many burdens you go through this life carrying day in and day out, we have a God that loves us so much and that this desires to one at a time strip us of these burdens as we are willing to give them to him. Why? because he cares for us, because he loves us, and he knows that going through life with all of these different things strapped around us is no way to live. And so he sent his perfect son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us so that we would have a way to one by one. I can't even find where this burden is hanging at. <laughs> he would give us a way one by one where we could take all of these burdens and we can shed them one at a time, and we can allow the weight to fall on him so that he can carry it. Why? Just so that our life would be easier and better? That may be part of it, but primarily I think it's because Jesus knew, God knew, that we would need somebody to shoulder the weight of this world so that we can be the influence to those that we need to be the influence to.